another property vlogs tour today we're going to show you a brand spanking new apartment at the Arden Gate development this apartment is a two bedroom one bathroom apartment it's also 900 square feet of floor space and on sale for 350 thousand pounds in addition to that there's the option to buy parking and also the apartment is uh, not that far from five ways station new street station broad street brindley place and a host of other amenities so if that sounds interesting to you stay tuned and we'll tour this apartment Welcome to the hallway. This is your entrance way and it's quite uh, spacious. It's not just like a narrow corridor. You come into the central space where you can obviously have like a little console table where you drop your keys. Um, you've got your storage space here which contains your heating equipment and your services. Um, that's pretty spacious as well. And then to your left is the staircase, which takes you to the second floor of the duplex apartment. Mm. And then behind me, I'm going to show you the first bedroom of the two. So this is a double bedroom, as you can see, with a floor to ceiling glazing as well, with two openable windows, um, which means you're going to get lots and lots of ventilation in there as well, and lots and lots of light. And on a day like this, you do get a really lovely view. From this bedroom, you can see in that direction, there's five ways. Um, you can see the Park Regis Hotel. Um, towards that direction where, camera, where the camera is looking at is Broad Street. And you have the new construction of the bank and Modo apartments as well which is really cool. And you also can see your courtyard, which has your AstroTurf, sorry, your artificial grass lawn there for shared space and the parking. And that's where you would park your vehicle if you got parking with this unit. And then there's also fitted wardrobes on this side as well. Um, I believe the fitted wardrobes have lights built in. They're not on currently, but there's actually, um, oh, I don't know where the light switch is. There you go. So that's your fitted wardrobe. And Brian, I've just seen something inside of there that that's also where your ventilation system is. So obviously they didn't want to close it off completely, but just bear in mind that's where your equipment is for the whole apartment. So that's that room. I'll switch this off. And then I think that concludes the ground floor. And then going up to the first floor. You can see you've got your kind of circulation space and um, which has the white walls, like I said as well, your ball nose skirting and also um, I believe these are engineered European oak flooring. Um, and then coming into the second bedroom, this essentially would be your, would you call this a master? It's, it's a similar size to the first one. Obviously, it's closer to the rest of the spaces in the apartment. So this would be your principal room because in this room you have your generous size uh, closet. And I always use the word generous, but in this case it really is. So it is a walk-in closet here. You can fit this out with, you know, rails and there's ample storage there. So that's in this room. Another thing about this apartment is that you've got electric heating everywhere as well. Um, so electric heating in this apartment and I've just noticed also you get this roof light 
um, which is pretty cool. So you'd obviously need to use uh, an extendable pole to get that roof light open, but it's nice to have the additional um, natural light. So coming down here, you've got your space for art. Knowing Brian and myself, we'd probably put art on this wall, art on that wall. And then this is your shared bathroom, isn't it? So this is your shared bathroom and even though it's the only bathroom in the apartment um, they've fully kitted this out in porcelain nursa tiles that's porcelain nursa floor to ceiling on the floor everywhere and this really lovely marble effect um, the uh, sanitary way is also by porcelain nursa so the um, the face plate to the toilet and the cistern and the sink is also by porcelain nursa yes that's true and then there's a, a recessed shelf as well so the whole space here all of this space here can be used for storage uh, you could probably even put a wall mounted unit or put the whole thing make the whole thing a mirror but this comes standard in this apartment so you don't have to worry about fitting any bespoke details it's all being considered in that bathroom and then my favorite space is the open plan space so this is the open plan living dining and kitchen space so let me spin around this way so you can see me um, you just saw a little quick glimpse there of the full height glazing it's like a featured kind of half gable glazing as well um, so they're really making the most of this vaulted ceiling as you can see and on the ceiling you have your recessed spotlights as well and then you have your open plan living area um, nicely sized and it flows really nicely into this dining area they've staged this area as being a dining area but obviously if you wanted a larger dining space you could pop it here the reason why they've shown this desk area is because most of us now are working from home and this apartment does allow you to have enough space to have a desk so you can study and work from home and all around this apartment you have these large uh, large feature windows there's a little Juliet balcony over there as well um, so not only can you get quite a lot of natural light, there's a lot of ventilation. Okay, this is on a restrictor right now, or maybe it's the blind box. Essentially, you could just go out into the balcony and that's quite a nice bonus because that overlooks the downstairs courtyard again. That's an, uh, and again, so moving towards this area, we've got the kitchen area. We've got your Bosch appliances here. There's a wine cooler there as well. You've got your laminate worktop there and you've got your kind of, it's kind of like a satin white um, cupboard doors and you can see there's storage everywhere, even there. And there's like an extractor in that location as well. You've got storage underneath the, the hob as well. Um, with soft closing doors you've got your fridge freezer here as well um, that's there and then you've got your Bosch double oven kind of yeah. combination and then generous windows to the kitchen there as well and then yes yeah, so I believe these are probably porcelain nurse tiles as well yeah. so they've thought about having the splash back in all the areas that could get wet to um, have porcelain nursery tile and then whilst you're washing up in your kitchen again you get to benefit from the the wind, the views of broad street and um the bank and but this apartment is within walking distance of the mailbox cube um the behind me is the feature glazing uh, which is kind of rare isn't it you don't get it in every apartment but with this being duplex apartment they've really made the most of the ceiling height and they've taken the glazing all the way to the top which is um, a really nice feature to have and whilst you're watching tv you can have the you know the view and you can look at the sunset and you've also got lots and lots of landmarks across birmingham that you can look at um, and this is unique to this apartment Madison is it over there the L Birmingham City Library is over there as well. Yeah, you can just about see that. And then you've got Broad Street, Centenary Square. I can just about see Centenary Square and a lot of other amenities. Selfridges is in that direction over there as well. And um, yeah, so, and that concludes our tour of this lovely duplex apartment situated in Birmingham City Centre. It is just within walking distance to the Cube. The mailbox, it's a canal side property. It's also by a few uh, luxury apartment developments such as the bank. Um, it's also next to Five Ways train station, 10 minutes walk from New Street train station as well. 
as I'm looking out the window, you can see that it's also adjacent to the cinema, Broad Street as well, and just lots and lots of different restaurants and bars, uh, which unfortunately have had to kind of, because of COVID. But anyway, so if you loved what you saw and you really enjoyed this tour, we would love for you to subscribe. We'd love you to click the notification bell no uh, symbol as well so that whenever we upload, you're notified and you're one of the first to view it. We'd love you to comment as well below. We read all the comments. And if you liked it as well, of course, give us a thumbs up and a like. So yeah, thanks for joining Property Vlogs on this tour. We'll see you on the next tour. Bye.